All right, guys, Coach George Tate is here, and I'm excited. You guys can see it. You guys know it. All right, I'm very excited. I got, uh, we got an unboxing to do. We got another special delivery from Rogue Fitness, and I've been waiting for this for a long time. I don't even know why I waited so long. The Camber Bar, the Rogue Fitness Camber Bar. I'm going to be using it for uh, everything anyway. That's good, but mostly I'm going to be doing it for squats and good mornings and stuff like that. So let's go and open it up. I always teach you guys, open up your boxes on video, take lots of pictures, lots of videos, document it. And as you can see, the box is destroyed. <laughs> okay, the box is destroyed. And it's okay because it's not a typical barbell. You know, it's, uh, you'll see, it's more like a safety squat bar type of material. And it's good, so that's why you don't see me all stressing out right now, sweat. So I know bar probably is in good condition. Bar's heavy, I think it's 85 pounds or 80 pounds. This box is 94, but anyways. So I'm looking forward to this, man. I really wanted this from uh, a long time ago. It's a bar that I actually love, one of my favorite bars in the gym. Unfortunately, most gyms don't have this, okay? It's really a specialty bar, and even if you're a power lifter who this is you know, pretty much suited for, uh, because it's more demanding, for example, um, I don't know, let's just say you were squatting, you do barbell squats with 350, 350 okay? Well, you ain't doing 350 with this, that's for sure. You're probably doing like <laughs> 250, 280, okay? Probably not even 300. Uh, yeah, this is beautiful, man. Let's just rip this guy open. I actually do want the box for something else. So actually, it's a lot more, it's... Um, it humbles you because uh, actually doing squats in good mornings with this is a lot more difficult than a barbell. So that's why a lot of people do not like it. Other than the fact that, again, this bar is not for most people, I would say. But it has a lot of uses. And I wish more people would get to know it. Uh, most people refer to this bar as uh, being easy on the shoulders because... <sighs> Man. So as you can see, it's not a typical barbell where oh, it's not a typical barbell where uh, the weight would go right there. First of all, this thing's heavy. Um, so uh, because you don't put your hands up here when you're squatting, you would put your hands up here. Okay, anywhere there, it's much easier for your shoulders. And depending on who you're training, let's just say you're a strength and conditioning coach, personal trainer, and you have a lot of clients that are playing like racket sports, golf, tennis, whatever, hockey, and they're already punishing their shoulders quite a bit. This bar comes in handy because you want them to do the squats, but you don't want uh, some of the negative things that come with the squats, what might be, um, little shoulder issues there. So this one here solves the problem. It also solves another problem, whereas because you're not, you can't use as much weight on this as a regular squat, okay, um, it's humbling. And you know, sometimes people are really scared to put weight on their back. So if you've got to load up somebody to 400 pounds because that's what they're capable of, well, hmm, then you get them over here, okay, on the cambered bar and, um, the weight's a little bit less, and then they get that little psychological thing. Another thing with this bar is that because of the bar swings forward, okay, see that? You gotta be a lot more stable, a lot more tight, and that's basically my problem. I'm not tight enough, I'm not initiating the core enough, and this bar here, uh, any wrong move, any deviation towards the front, okay, when the bar goes there, and if you go forward, Instead of having your uh, upper body upright, uh, you're going to have to fix that up real soon or you're probably going to fail the lift, fail the rep. So this has a great carryover to everything else. So for example, let's just say you are doing squats with a barbell and then you start implementing this. Well, again, you're going to be using less weight, but that's maximal on this bar. So it's not like you're deloading. Get into that in a minute. And because you're using less weight on this, you're actually do cause a deloading effect because instead of loading yourself up with 400, you're loading yourself up with 300, right? And it's easier on the shoulder than a barbell squat. And once you get stronger in this, it has a higher 
has a carryover to your regular squats, okay? So a lot of people will periodize, periodize their training, whereas they'll do a uh, few weeks, few workouts with a barbell, with a safety squat bar that you see over there, a camber bar, and just run run the little uh, the circuit there. And because every bar is different, same with the safety squat bar, you're not gonna be as strong as a safety squat bar as a barbell. This guy is probably worse, it is worse than the squat bar. You're definitely more weaker on that. And I like it, because I don't like loading up my back, okay? And I don't like loading up my client's back too, if I don't have to, and I don't like adding undue uh, injury potential to a client that's already got an injury, <laughs> a lot of injury potentials with their sports, with their outside sport. So this is really good, keeps you tight. So you start building up that nice core, teach the body to engage all at once, okay? And um, I've had to recommend this bar to some people because they have a low ceiling. Okay, so if they're using a barbell, so if this was a barbell, the circular weights would come out. And as you're pressing, the weights would go out. Now with this bar here, <laughs> because the weights are here, okay, even if you got 45 pounds doing shoulder presses, uh, which you'd be pretty strong because this is 85 plus uh, thing, and yeah, you'd be quite the guy. But if you're pushing up, say in a basement, where you got a low ceiling uh, height, this works really well. Yeah, it's gonna work really well in my garage too for shoulder presses. And again, because the weight swings forward, okay, you gotta teach your body to tighten up and keep it going because if this thing is swinging forward, you're gonna have to tighten yourself up and get back into the groove, okay? Otherwise, you're, again, you're gonna feel the lift, feel the set. And um, here's, Wanted this bar last year, got it for a few people. It wasn't really out of stock, okay? The problem with this bar is that it's so big that when you get shipping, okay? So basically last year this bar was like $120 shipping. I paid 100 and whatever, but I ordered a couple bars and they're gonna come in too. Ordered a deadlift bar and a squat bar. And I'm trying to work on my squat because uh, I don't know if you guys know, about 20 years ago I was run over by a car run over by a car a few times actually <laughs> and for that reason I always had trouble squatting or had to uh, take out the squatting because it was just too demanding on me tore me down more than built me up but uh, actually a couple years ago somebody just said hey why don't you just squat as much as you can and I thought well you know what if I'm capable of squatting 400 and I can only squat 280 I'm probably not going to make as much gains and you know but actually, I did squats all the time, and that was basically my recommendation to my client. But again, some coaches don't follow their own uh, their own advice. But uh, the last couple of years, I'm squatting twice a day, no matter what. That's a Wednesday and Friday, and I got the camber bar to help me out with my posterior chain, my glutes, my hamstrings, my lower back, and that's again a big issue with me. And um, keeping tight is a big issue with me. And this bar is going to humble me, so. There's a lot of uses for this bar, okay? My fear with this bar was that it won't fit in my rack, and I will let you guys in on a little secret. I'm gonna make another video after this. The prices of Rogue, prices of gym equipment keep going up and up and up, okay? And actually, the day after I bought this, the bar just went up another 40 bucks. So when I bought, when we were buying this last year, we were paying 360, okay? And about 120 bucks shipping, and then um, now, then it went up to three, uh, 400, sorry, which I bought it for. I bought it for 400 and whatever, $150 shipping, but I got three bars in that, so I was able to sneak them in. But this bar here, because of its uh, size, if you order it, it might send your order into, uh, if you're ordering other items, might send it right into Fright. So this is a bar that if you got a big order, I always tell people just slap it in, slap it in and it'll find its way again buy it gift it share it it'll find its way it's not like it's expensive item 400 bucks okay like i have a police officer that has never used one of these but he does a lot of heavy lifting and he's probably going to pick this up <laughs> before i put it to use okay uh because i want him to have it and I, I i don't not this one i want him to have the bar himself so he's actually going to come and get it so like i said sometimes when the shipping goes into freight you know what just keep slapping stuff in there as much as you can afford and I think this is a good bar for most people. Again, 
loading, again, shoulders, teaching yourself to stabilize, to tighten up the core, okay, brace properly. And again, if you've got no ceiling, this is probably the only bar, one of those bars that'll help you out with that. Let me put it on the rack and you just see if it works. I'm praying to God that it doesn't, or the cop can take it and keep it. <laughs> All right, so that was another issue of mine. So the price went up now to 440. The price just went up again the day after. Perfect. Okay, so there it is, guys. Hold on. So basically, the price went up twice. I'll do a video on that. So basically, there it is. That yeah, looks beautiful, man. It's a very hardcore bar. Okay, very hardcore bar. And just to show you guys how much uh, room we got there. Okay, so actually, when you're going to squat, you put your hands here. Okay and you're coming up and as you come down these usually swing forward okay and if you're not braced properly if you're not upright real good and solid and braced you're gonna have a lot of trouble okay let me just get another angle for you guys for the camera that's nice man that's really nice oh yeah and I recommend this bar to everybody so before I forget, so if you got a if you got a low ceiling and you're gonna do shoulder presses, okay, and there you are. Okay, so if you're in the basement, as you can see, my cage is 84 inches. Okay, most basements are what 90 inches. You guys got that? Yeah. And uh, so basically, if you got this bar here, the weights are here. Okay, and let's just say your basement is 90 inches, then you got the camber bar, and you're good. And as you can see, it swings forward. Okay, I gotta really brace and try it harder. So, again, if you're gonna do shoulder presses with this bar because of that instability, and you gotta tighten up your core a lot more, it's going to have a carryover to a regular shoulder press on the barbell. Okay. So you're going to get stronger with this. So again, there's a periodization program going on. Can't implement it too much because a lot of bars, sorry, a lot of clubs, a lot of gyms don't have this bar for whatever reason. Again, uh, a lot of mental health issues, guys. If you got a 600 pound squatter, you can only do 450 on the camber bar or whatever, 500 on the camber bar. It's a little bit of a psychological, but a lot of power lifters that I've consulted with are more than convinced that this bar uh, has its place, solid place. It's for like in our program, it's not even an option. Like I prefer power lifters uh, have this bar, and I think that used properly with the bench press. Okay, again the bench press, shoulder press. Uh, good mornings. So if you're here, okay. You gotta get used to it so you're gonna have it here. Again, a lot of the bars that I've used were very slippery on the behind. This one's not bad from Rogue, but I'm still gonna put some athletic tape there, some uh, uh, hockey tape. So if I'm coming down here, if I was embraced properly, you'd see it going forward, okay? And then that would tilt me forward and I would have to brace up. So it caused a lot of problems. So you wanna be, okay? It's actually really great for good mornings. Another thing I, 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 I like to use it for, oh man, that just feels right. Okay, so that's it guys. Bar's great. Bar went up again. So, I'm going to do a video on this right now. The sooner you buy your bar, the cheaper you'll get it. And let's just humor each other. If you bought this last year for 360 and you don't like it, and this year it just went, just now it went up to 440. You would get your 360 back that you paid for. You just get it back, man. Just get your money back, okay? You want to sell it for more? You probably could. But you know what? If you wanted your 360 back, somebody's like, ah, why should I buy it off you? I could just get it off Rogue if I'm going to pay regular price. Yeah, but you'd get your regular price back, okay? So it's a really good bar to have. Uh, we'll see how it goes in here. <laughs> I bought two things here. But, uh, I think you guys should really uh, consider it and um, consider specialty bars in general to uh, have a deloading effect, okay? So if you're always squatting with 450 on your back, 
maybe it's a good idea to use a bar that maybe forces you to be a little bit tighter than a barbell, forces you to use lighter weights, and then your body kind of sees that as a deload, but it's not because this bar is actually more demanding. And then when you go back to your regular squats, trust me, your regular squats will go up, okay? And you'll have better technique to, to show for it too here if you train properly. Coach Tennis out, like, subscribe, share. I better shut it off right there, okay? Cambered squat, cambered bar. Sometimes we call it a cambered squat bar, but people call it a good morning bar, whatever. And there it is, and uh, it's beautiful. All right, guys, Coach Dan is out. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, hire us, fire us, share it, whatever. Have a beautiful day.